Angelo. <laughs> That's it. Okay. James Conn, the guy on the bike, bringing you another half-assed report. Well, we've got a very, uh, very glamorous opening here that we're going to try to pop in here. Paul Kasman. We're going to take a look at David LaChapelle, still alive. Now, uh... Boy, this is uh, quite a mom scene. It's almost more like a uh, movie debut. It says here in the press release that uh, David started this body of work in 2009 when he heard about the uh, break-in and vandalism at the Dublin, the National Wax Museum of Dublin. This piece is Sean Connery. Comogenic print, 65 by 72 inches. Five and a half by six feet. And anyway, he got permission to go in and uh, document some of the damaged pieces. This is Bill Clinton. I guess I should have recognized the nose. 2009, 2012. 71 by 54. This is John F. Kennedy, 2009-2012, 71 by 60 and 5 eighths inches, and uh, well, I popped by here a couple days ago and looked through the windows and have been thinking a little bit about uh, some of these pieces, and uh, it's an interesting development in his work. Still Life Madonna. Seventy one by thirty five. <laughs> it's not exactly lifelike, but close. Mikhail Gorbachev, the chromogenic print. These are all editions of three, with two artist proofs. That's a map of North Korea there on his forehead. Still life, Elvis. Six by four feet, and uh, it's some incredible details on this. As I was saying, I kind of uh, 
like this new development in his work because uh, in many ways this is almost like uh, photojournalism out of his previous work was very involved with sets and costumes and uh, personality props. This one is Michael Jackson. All oh, that nose is very realistic. It's metal. And I uh, enjoy the kind of straight ahead. It's almost like portraits of uh, these pieces of wax. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. They've even got his freckles in there. Margaret Thatcher. Looks like they really wanted to break this one up. very loud in here. It's so interesting the way that he's included the hands in a lot of these. This is Marlena Dietrich. Okay, so this is the Prince of Wales. Some of these looks like he's mixing and matching the parts. Heath Ledger. <laughs> I was going to say they should have brought the Rolling Stones in. They wouldn't need any wax. Well, we'll see if we can get some views here of the second gallery. There's the artist right there. This is Drew Barrymore. This is a big one. This piece is 71 by 71 inches. simply titled Cowboy. I think one of the, uh, the aspects of this that I enjoy is this is a very kind of a dramatic way of exposing the fragility of uh, celebrity or maybe the, just the fragility of temporal life in general. So this is Ronald Reagan. It's amazing how you can kind of recognize him just from uh, his mouth and the lower part of his nose. This is another Michael Jackson. No. 
W. Bush. This might be one of the more interesting pieces in the show. Well, somebody really had a grudge to take out on this poor guy. Check out the action in the back room. Well, the only title I can find on this one is Of Humanity. It's another interesting piece. Mixy matchy. here. Parts is parts. Oh, Hugh Hefner. Nice dimples. Hey, now we're going to look at part two. Well, this is a much more subdued crowd in here. And because it's getting close to closing time, I'm just going to run through this. So this must be his views of the Last Supper. It's Bartholomew. James Minor as opposed to James Major, Andrew. I wonder if this is based on a uh, Leonardo painting, Judas. <laughs> it's like uh, Sylvester Stallone with the beard. Peter. DiCaprio. Oh, I mean, it's Jesus. He's crying. Thomas. James Major. See, that's a nice one. That hand is very dramatic. <laughs> Philip. Thaddeus. Simon, oh, let's peek in the back room. It's not a seismic shift. A view in an art museum. Where Jeff Koons, Murakami. Okay, this is funny. The thing that should have the water in it, the Jeff Koons floating basketballs, doesn't have water in it. Damien Hurst. Okay. It does make me think of uh, the remnants from Sandy. Cool, we get the high water mark on the Damien Hurst. I think that's Rosie Perez over there. 
Anyway, well, <laughs> I tried to get David to talk. He's a little bashful and he's also exhausted. He says he's been uh, doing interviews for the last 48 hours straight, so this is titled simply Nazi 03. Two heads in a cardboard box. Nazi O2. Oh, strategically placed piece of bubble wrap. Oh, and this is Nazi O1. Beautiful, Angelo. Thank you.